Lou Fernandez here for Mac Tips. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the brand new Mac Mini from Apple Computers. Now the Mac Mini has been a, a long time piece of the Apple computer lineup and they finally upgraded it to a brand new modern shape with all kinds of bells and whistles and we're going to talk about that right now. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that the Mac Mini used to be white with a gray logo and now it is silver, larger, and with a black logo. It used to be a little squat but it looks like Steve Jobs came and smashed it with his magic hammer and made it thinner. So that's a nice thing because this, I mean, you have to admit, is sort of garish and uh, just uh, an eyesore on the table. Whereas this is lovely. Let's talk specs. So when you look at what's on the back, the ports and stuff like that, first we're gonna take a look at these things. They has, still have four USB ports. Uh, the USBs are, um, black on this one and white on this one. There are still two places, a place for headphones and a place for the other thing, which may be for mics. Now, one thing that I thought was interesting was the new Mac Mini doesn't have a place to put a Kensington or computer lock on it. Now, that is because Apple figures that people do not want to steal these. That's as far as I can guess. These were, when they came out, a hot item. This, not so much a hot item anymore. People might look at it and go, do I want to steal it? It's not even locked down, they obviously don't care. I'm not gonna steal it. So you don't have to worry about anyone stealing this computer. There's also a DVI on this old old one. Who uses that? There's a mini display port on the back, which is a little dongle that hangs off that allows you to attach your Mac Mini to a, an old school uh, DVI or VGA monitor. Uh, there's also an HDMI connection. So if you have a fancy TV and you wanna hook up a computer to it, you can. It's an, it's an option. Uh, and uh, maybe not a bad one. So it also has, uh, you can see, FireWire 800. The old one has FireWire 400 and Apple has continued to uh, ignore its FireWire 400 uh, user base and continues to only spec FireWire 800. They both have Ethernet. So Ethernet, but this one is Gigabit Ethernet. So that's a nice thing. Now here's the big difference. With the old one, you have this power power supply. It's a big old rectangle, heavy, gets hot. It's got a long bit of spaghetti to plug it into the wall holes and also into your computer hole. And then with this one, you just have a tiny little black wire. It's just like the one you would find on the back of your uh, your clock radio or your, your video camera or whatever. Now, this is... Um, I lost it, so I can't show you, but you just have to take my word for it. It's a lot easier to plug in. Of course, it's not as long as this, so you need an extension cord to plug it into a wall, or you can have a, uh, a power strip that comes up to where you have your computer, and it's very easy to do. So uh, you'll figure it out. Everyone's electricity situations are different, so I'm not going to tell you how to run stuff to your wall. That's how it goes. But one thing that Apple did change is in this old Mac Mini, you used to need to have a paint scraper and jam it in there and peel the case back and move it around and then pop the lid off. Um, you know, if you worked at an Apple retailer, there's probably some sort of, you know, polycarbonate tool that they had, but most people just use a paint scraper. With this one, if you need to change the RAM, which can have up to eight gigabytes of RAM, you just give it a turn, boop, turn, flip it over, voila, there it is. All the guts that you can change, which is basically just the RAM. Now the RAM just pops in and out and it's really easy and you can get the RAM somewhere else after you buy it because you know to have it put in by apple is very expensive uh and here's a fan and a thing that looks like the airport um then you go and you do this clickety clackety boobity bappity you're done so now what else now there is um a place for um, some kind of a media card uh but i don't know much about and then in the front you have a slot for your cds or your dvds and you can also i'm told burn a movie on there. So when you shoot your family uh, reunion, you can put it in some kind of program on here and, and record it right away. Now, inside here, you can have up to a 500 uh, gigabyte hard drive. Now that's a nice thing in case you have lots of files and photos and whatever. It's not upgradable at all ever. So don't even think about that. But you've got four USBs to just plug in a new external hard drive whenever you want. So. What are you complaining about? It doesn't have Thunderbolt yet, but that's okay because nothing has Thunderbolt yet. So don't worry about it. Now, one of the things they really uh, are pushing with this new model is how much better the video card is. Now the video card is a NVIDIA GeForce 320M graphics, the fastest integrated 
graphics processor on the market today and speedy DDR3 memory with 48 processing cores and 256 mb of shared video memory with cores. That is great if you like to play games. And here's a graphic of some of the games that you can play and how much faster they are now. You can see that Quake 4 is faster, Call of Duty 4 is also faster, and Doom 3 way faster. Now, if you're still playing these games, you might consider that they are very old and outdated games which have been surpassed many times over with playability and all kinds of stuff. If you really like games, this may not be the best thing for you. You might want to get an Xbox. Think about that. I know it's more money. More money. And if you're buying this computer and money's an issue, should you be playing games? You should probably be uh, picking up an extra shift down at the Target. Whoa. Now it comes down to this. Lou, you're asking me. I can't hear you because this is, you're watching this later. Is the Mac Mini for me? Well, I don't know you. So how can I say whether it is or not? I don't know where you are in your life with where your money situation is at. I mean, if you're considering a Mac Mini, you know, maybe you could be doing better in life. So this is an okay computer for you then. It's only $700. If $700 is a big deal to you, maybe you shouldn't be buying a computer at all. I mean, maybe, seriously. You know, it's a great computer. It does all the things you need to do. You know, mostly you're gonna be doing uh, surfing the web. You can go to all the forums you like. It's never gonna be too, you know, outdated for forums. Uh, surfing the web, going shopping, looking at YouTubes, or Vimeos, or whatever site you, I don't, don't, don't nitpick me about what you're gonna do with this computer. You can word process on it. Is that what you wanted to know? You know, and it's the Mac OS, so it's gonna be fine. You know, uh, if that's really your problem, then whatever. Why You should just buy any computer. Anyway, the Mac Mini can do all those things. It does them fine. You won't notice or care either way. I can't, you know, just buy a computer already. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a jerk. Anyway, so the Mac Mini, you can buy it. It's a great computer. You'll like it. The Mac Mini, buy it. I don't care. Anyway, this has been Mac Tips Mac Mini Review. I'm Lou Fernandez. We'll see you soon.